Hey folks, welcome to part 18 of the Atomic Heart playthrough. Um, in the last part, we were just visiting another test ground that was on the way to the main objective. Um, so I think we, yeah, we entered the test ground already and we're just gonna proceed through it. Let's search the testing ground and get the hell out of here. We need to deliver Petrov's head. Petrov, ASAP. Keep your eyes peeled, comrade. Good. Major, there's more to Sahlin than meets the eye. We can deal with that. The other places weren't exactly a walk in the park, you know. Yeah, we're doing good on ammo, fortunately. Let's um, get a quick save in and proceed. Saving data. After rereading classical works on magnetism by James Maxwell and Henry Cavendish, facility 3826 scientists questioned some of their foreign colleagues' fundamental assumptions and decided to recreate their famous experiments in electromagnetic fields and geomagnetism. This testing ground employs special magnetic gravitational test benches to simulate the various potential conditions of the Earth's magnetic field. This allows us to better study underground deposits and find more effective ways to exploit them for the benefit of the Soviet Union. Okay. I think I have a inkling of what we can do. So, objective is gonna be we need to get the door open on the bottom so we can cross over. At least that's what I'm planning on doing right now. Uh, one of these has a door open, right? Maybe not. What does this do? Uh, if there's a door open, we probably need to cross the bottom. So, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. We are now on the other side. So. I guess raise it. Um. Okay. And. We need to find a way across. Let's lower this. Okay. Go back and flip this so that the door is on the top then. this okay cool is there a control panel here oh okay oh. bye 
think I need to get that control panel. Yeah. And then we can cross over. Where's the control panel? Oh, I see. Cool. But let's see if we can get across now. Is the guy angry at me? Hey. Okay. Hold up. Does this do anything? Okay, can I? I'm on this. Ah, okay. And I'm sure we could take this up. There we go. the thing go up on this side We need to get across and it looks like Oh I see. Okay, okay, okay. Um Alright. Dodge came in to the rescue. Let's pull this down. Pull this up. Let's try to make this jump. Oh man, just made it. Right, nice. So that brings us to the other side. Okay. Let us proceed. Yeah, I, I feel like double dodge is definitely helping out here. So it looks all right. There's a crate up there. Let us proceed. Saving data. I feel like I'm about to fight some sort of big baddie. What's going on Along here? The might of the Soviet army, our great nation's climate is regarded as one of the decisive factors that thwarted invading Western powers time and time again. However, 
Soviet scientists have now demonstrated that low temperatures also protect against diseases and epidemics. Acting as a natural filter, frost removes dust particles in the air and promptly kills airborne viruses, bacteria, and allergens. Only frosty air can be safe. Completely wholesome. Cold temperatures also stimulate the immune system. This is why this workshop is dead. Relating the cold environments of the USSR to help study the effects. Boom. Alright, and I think we are good to go. Temperatures. I'm surprised I was able to hack this guy while he was laying down. Doesn't look to be a lot of big guys here. What's going on here? <laughs> One in here, yep. Wow, barely noticed you, buddy. Okay. How do I get into this house? Man, with the vodka, or yeah, you like one shot these guys. Pretty neat. I really thought these enemies would swarm me, but. Are we supposed to put these? I see the tubes. Okay, here's one.
fuck out of it. That's the two back here, and where is this one coming from? Okay. Doesn't throw it. There must be another way. Uh, okay, I guess these balls cannot be thrown. That looks like a self-contained loop. Unless there's a way to like chuck the ball in there. But I'm unable to throw it. So Two done. Okay. Oh, I guess we we don't. What the what? Okay. I don't think I need to worry about it. If this door already opened. <laughs> Hear some sus noises. vision show me where to go <laughs> all right looks like we passed that test Successfully. A lot of resources. I wish you could like upgrade this so like like the magnetic part of your glove just like shoots straight through like to all these behind you. The quality of life upgrade. Each row. That looks good. Nice. <laughs> Let's check our inventory. I 
doubling up on medkits again. So, what will it be? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Mm. Did I want anything though? I think I got everything in the frostbite tree. Yeah. We can upgrade. No, we don't have that. Okay, so character. Yeah, those are the only things left. Character. Okay. So, what will it be, mate? Uh, storage. Looks good. I feel like the fire cartridge in this entire game has been not used as frequently and it's because like organic enemies are rare to come by. It would have been cool if the game introduced, um, like, not the mutated humans, but like regular humans as well to like fight against. Like, there's like three factions, I guess. Like, maybe you fight some of Molotov's soldiers early on or later to in the game. To help advance gravitational wave astronomy, the USSR Academy of Sciences has decided to set up a groundbreaking new testing site for the training of gravitational astronomers who will observe interstellar phenomena from Earth and from space. This building houses Facility 3826's training center for cosmonaut astronomers or cosmonomers. Here, young Soviet heroes to be trained to overcome and at the same time exploit the gravitational pull of our planet while avoiding high power gravitational waves and radiation that could be harmful to the human body. I don't think I'm gonna make it across fast enough. <laughs> Where we came from. Yeah, I feel like this is more of my speed. What else is going on here? I guess this is if you fall down here. Okay. What happened if I grab this? Okay. All of these have railings. Okay. <laughs> and we got two from here. Now what? Okay, I guess stick it in, fall down. Yep. Why is it going even faster? I don't know what the purpose of this was. Did it like marginally slow it down? Oh. 
feel like I am missing one of them now. I was trying to steal it, see if I need it for later. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, anyways, whatever. Relatively fast testing ground. Although, I think we should upgrade before we get out of here. Access granted. Alright, so we got some upgrades for the shotgun, so let's look at that first. And we got a good load of resources here. Alright, so we got the. the Reduces recoil and increases damage as well. Yeah, okay, let's go for this. Okay, um, increase damage to robots. I think I want to keep that. Mike seems fine. Okay, yep. Yeah. Let's back out. Fat boy, what did we get? Okay, I want that. Um, and the reason why I'm not upgrading this is because I don't, I think like a trip mine is very situate, trap mine is situational. And the homing one seems good on the surface, but I feel like, you know, what if it's too slow? Like, I'd rather just shoot them head on. Also, this one increases damage radius twice and then increases damage and minimum damage. Yeah, so like overall, like in this one, you want it to be farther away. And yeah, I don't feel like the situation in which I use this is very close range, so that's why I'm not going for that. Um, yeah. Did we... Okay, you know what? I want to install a cartridge on this. As well. Usually I fight organics with this. Okay, cool. Um, and then can we craft anything? Right, railgun. Real gun. Okay. Um, I feel like this is really good against robots, but it is an energy weapon. It's also the most expensive weapon in the game, so definitely worth crafting. No. All right, let's craft this next. Here we go. Okay, phew. Here we go. I wonder if this guy's in standby right now. Clearly active. There we go. I didn't think the game spawned it improperly. Okay. Oh, I know, I took out the hawk.
Hey. Everything is so quiet right now. You know what? It's nice this way. Versus. Shots it was gonna take. Incredible. But we got microelectronics, which is what we need for the real gun. So, so far, so good. I do want to get a save in real quick before I bite off more than I can chew. Perfect. Let us head back. Oh, this guy is doing is chilling up there. Be able to hack these guys. Like, even when they're in standby. The animation, they're also kind of broken. Yeah. Like, what's going on? Add by ammo from him. Move on. More fat by ammo. Yeah, I see the animation, they're completely broken. looking for microelectronics but I don't think these little guys have it on the baton guys Do you have micro electronics do not this guy should oh, this is so easy to bring down the security is like way too easy. Hey, what's up? Yeah, that's right. How's it going, bro? Hope you don't mind. Oh, you do mind. Alright, I'm gonna do this the old school way. module which I want you hackable you are hackable whoa I don't think I've ever hacked one of those guys before right. so on foot 
It's more scenic that way. Let's kill those two clowns. I think I already killed them, but I wonder if their supplies come back. How's that guy moving? No idea. Let's kill these guys first. Don't chain. There was no point. I had to get resources from those guys. I think this is the most amount of hacking I've done in this entire playthrough. Honestly, it was so easy to take out the robots. I should have just blown up the hot thingies from the sky. That would have been okay. Hey, like during the collapse, they should have just shot down the hot silos. How many people would have died? What do they know? Getting there. Don't repair stuff. That's what you get. Don't repair stuff. Want to deal with any more of these guys? Get another save in and proceed. Saving data. Inventory. You got a lot of fat boy stuff. This guy is hard to hack. And we're moving on. I feel like I should be driving across this, but let's take in the scenery. Ah, uh, organics. There we go. Right weapon for the job. Let's get one of these guys. Send the preemptive sh Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Wow. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder and could not have foreseen all the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. That's way too easy. Like, why do you need the railgun when you have this? This weapon? It's insane.
They're like the perfect combo. It's called, ah, uh, we got one of the psyche guys. Let's take care of this guy first. Uh, let's switch to shotgun real quick and pop this off. Put this on. Fucking fuck! Where the fuck did you even come from? I don't even think I let the fire do the damage that it was supposed to. Oh well. Some of these guys don't give me resources. Our inventory. Oh, we have one of these. has changed a little bit. Like the increase in movement speed with the adrenaline capsule. Mm. All right, let's just dig right into it.
I think that guy saw me yet. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about it. Entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? I'm not a member of collective. How can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is uh -oh. everyone so... Uh-oh. ...about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. <laughs> There's gotta be more to it than this. Fuck off, you prick! She's a fire cartridge here, actually. No big deal. Guys perpetually frozen. I could keep whacking them. Keep healing me. And like I have so many matches that I don't even care. Just keep freezing them. Let this guy up. Taste of your own medicine. Or not.
storage to Papa. Let's see what you got. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. That is some crazy... Where's your fucking button? I do wonder what's up there, but... I don't have a chance to go up there. Let's see. I imagine we'll end up there eventually. Oh, let's just get to this point. <sighs> All right, storage. <laughs> Give me so many of these adreno spikes. Get some more ammo for the shotgun. Good.
Hit these guys. I definitely want to get to that control beacon up there because there's a testing ground here. Let's find a way upstairs. I hear roaring over there, but <sighs> I don't think I have access to the other cameras. Let's bring another way. That's the hawk. To find the spire, actually. Alright, that's fine. For now, this is good enough. That's the fucking leap of faith. Nope. Didn't time it right. Alright. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. Swab. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit. Pressure on it. Now. Oh, you just killed someone. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. 
do your jobs. Private, bring in the next one. Yes, Comrade Colonel. The polymer needs to... Okay. Be absorbed. And if it's not, save whoever you can. And clean this place up. Talk to some of these guys, they may know something. Apolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours. Then, let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. What are you doing? I'm counting. Counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. But I'm a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. <laughs> Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. So you will help me. Please stay next no. to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. Give or take 535 to 650 days in current conditions. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Hey, right, maybe this one? Uh -huh, da -da -da. Nope. Um. Ah, oh, there we go. I missed this completely. Okay, this should be it. <laughs> okay. Let's head downwards. Here we go. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything mm -hmm. from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space. You mean they make moon rovers mm -hmm. here, non Chalamet? Eh? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Mm, very true. Alright, this brings us to the end of this part. We are finally in the Pavlov Complex, so we will hand over Victor's head. And let's see where we go from there. I hope you enjoyed watching this part, and I'll see you in the next one.